Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around an AMO 5x8 three-board high-side utility trailer. As equipped, this unit's a 2,200-pound GVW. It's going to weigh in at about 600 pounds empty, giving you a net legal payload of about 1,600 pounds plus some tongue weight. A trailer like this can be hauled behind most any tow vehicle, uh, minivan, small SUVs, all the above. Awesome trailer for a homeowner. Uh, with the solid sides, gives you the capability of hauling mulch, uh, composting limbs, uh, all the stuff that you might go to a box store and want to take home with you. Uh, while this is our most entry-level trailer, there certainly are more entry-level type trailers in the marketplace. I'll point out a few of the differences between this and some of those trailers here in a second. So we're going to go up front where we'll start with some of those differences. So you'll notice this has a full A-frame tongue. Some of your cheaper ones in the market will have a single piece tongue with no jack. This one's got an A-frame and then it's got an A-frame jack as well. Notice it's also got this sand foot at the bottom to keep it from sinking down in dirt and whatnot. A lot of your cheaper utilities will also have a one and seven eighth ball. This one's equipped with a two inch ball up front. So it's got the bigger ball, A-frame with the jack. And then another substantial difference we've seen is a lot of them have the mesh floor. This has the treated wood floor on the bottom. Okay, this is a high side unit. Uh, three board high is gonna get you about 16 inch, give or take, 16 and a half. Uh, to the top of the side rail, you're gonna jump to about 20 inches, give or take. Also it comes standard with tie downs, four tie downs, one in each corner. They're not the heavy, heavy duty D-rings that you see on our bigger trailers but they're certainly more than capable of holding what belongs in a trailer like this such as a garden tractor a four-wheeler and golf cart etc another feature on amo uh, again it is our entry-level trailer so buy accordingly however they're using a urethane paint on this trailer most of your cheaper trailers in the marketplace you're going to find are going to be acrylic enamel urethane's got some hardener in it uh, generally acrylic could be on your lower end type trailers and then your your big big manufacturers generally are going to powder coat your things not normally used by a trailer at this price point that would be more on your corn pro and maritz your livestock trailers that uh, are, are trying to give you a superior paint finish so again little detail for a trailer this price point though you wouldn't normally see jeep style fenders it's got your uh, silver mod wheel now a lot of times in utilities you're going to see a four foot gate this is a three foot normally on your uh, smaller axle trailers a three foot gate's pretty normal gives you a decent loading angle for what you'd be loading on a trailer this size so again folks handy trailer ideal for a homeowner i gave you four or five things that make it a little bit nicer than some of the box store units that i've seen nicer tongue jack coupler foot floor tie downs already in it i didn't mention too the wiring certainly uh, a bit cleaner than i've seen on some uh, it's got the wiring in the wire loom and there's no exposed wiring uh, in the bed like i've seen on some if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers give us a ring 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com thanks for looking